Hey guys, this is Amr from Engadget, and I'm here with John from Corning Gorilla Glass, who is going to show us uh, the new Gorilla Glass 2. It's my little demonstration. First, we're going to take a look at Corning Gorilla Glass with a historical demo. Uh, basically, what this is showing is the retained strength of, of Gorilla Glass and Sodaline Glass. What we've done here is we've abraded samples. We basically sandblasted, and you may be able to see a hazy region here, which is damaged that's been introduced into the glass. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and participate in this demo and go ahead and try to break this piece of glass with this stylus with the ball in. Just push, right push, push right down and push right down in the middle there. Go ahead and try to break that. And remember how we, how that felt, easy, yeah. hard, things like that. So for Corning Gorilla Glass, right, we do a chemical strengthening process. So that chemical strengthening process can also be done on sodaline glass. So we're going to just, for a relative comparison, go ahead and try to break a, a chemically strengthened piece of sodaline with the ball end. The same ball the other end, yep. <laughs> Not that it matters, but a little bit harder maybe? A little bit. A little bit, yep. So then we have Corning Gorilla Glass. Same process. We'll let you uh, have your uh, best at it there. I'll have you know I'm really strong. Go for it. Do your best. I'm very strong. And even I can't break this. Yep. It's like that. Yep. So this is Corning Gorilla Glass, the current product we have in the market today. But you know, we're always innovating, and we're introducing Corning Gorilla Glass 2 here at CES. What that, that glass is doing, it's enabling 20% thinner form factor for the glass, still keeping the same level of damage resistance. And we have a demonstration over here to show you um, that level of performance. So same process that I showed you in the other demonstration. We have our silicon carbide particles. We've abraded the glass samples. And we'll start out with the same glass that we tested over there. But here you're going to see the pounds that it takes to actually break those glass samples. So you get a relative comparison. So go ahead and put in a non-strengthened piece of soda line glass. Load it up, breaks around 36 pounds. Take a piece of strengthened soda lime glass again. We saw in the other demo, this was a little bit harder to break. To load this sample. Not bad, almost doubling, roughly. Again, the benefit of a chemically strengthening process, and this is Corning Gorilla Glass, one millimeter. Same sample we could not break in the other demonstration. We're going to load it up in here. We'll give you a, a flavor for how much load this sample of glass can take without breaking. We're going to load this up. We're up over 80 pounds, 90, 100. 110, oh, 120, no break. And that's our current Corning Gorilla Glass product. But we want to go one step further. We want to make the glass thinner, and we want to keep the same level of performance. And that's where we have here at Corning Gorilla Glass 2. 0.8 millimeters thick. We're going to go ahead and load this sample into the tester. Set this. We'll load this piece up. Going up near 100 pounds. 110. And we're right up at that same 120. Or 20% thinner. The same level of damage resistance benefits of Corning Gorilla Glass 2.